Asteroids have a bit of a bad name for themselves. After all, they did kill the dinosaurs and Bruce Willis in Armageddon. And hundreds of asteroids every year potentially cause danger to us by passing very close to the Earth. However, there are some really good positives of asteroids. And scientists can use asteroids to learn more about the solar system when it began and lots of other really, really useful things. But where do asteroids come from? What dangers do they pose to us and what useful things can we get from them? So first of all, what are asteroids? Well, they're giant lumps of dust, rock and ice and metals that are all compacted together and they orbit around the sun in our solar system. Some of them are thought to be very large and some very small. Some of them have giant metal cores, some of them have ice, some of them don't. Some of them are even thought to have amino acids and other complex chemicals which are involved with life. And they orbit around the sun just as the Earth does. But the difference is they're much, much smaller than the Earth. And they can vary from around 1 metre in size to 500 kilometres in size. And compared to the Earth's diameter of 12,000 kilometres, you can see they're significantly smaller than the Earth. But they still can be really, really large. So you've heard of asteroids, but you may have also heard of the objects comets, meteoroids and dwarf planets before. But what's the difference between all of them? Well, a meteoroid is simple. It's just a very small asteroid. So I said before that asteroids go down to a size of around one meter. Well, anything smaller than this is a meteoroid. The definition is a bit loose, but this is the rough definition of the difference between an asteroid and a meteoroid. The difference between a comet and an asteroid is that a comet has a coma around the outside of it. And the coma is kind of like a mini atmosphere. It's lots of gas and things like this that come off of the comet. It also has the really famous long tail. There's a long tail of debris like ice and rock and dust and gas that comes off the back of it. And this is the difference between a comet and an asteroid. The difference between a dwarf planet and an asteroid is that a dwarf planet is bigger than an asteroid. See what happens is when an object has enough mass, it becomes spherical, so it comes like a sphere. But when it, it doesn't have a lot of mass like an asteroid, it can be all weird and strange shapes and it can look like strange potatoes or even like rubber ducks if you saw the recent Comet 67P. And it can have all these different shapes, but when it gets really, really large, it becomes spherical. And at this point, we call it a dwarf planet. So that's the difference between asteroids, comets, meteoroids and dwarf planets. So now you know what asteroids are, where do they come from? Well, in the early solar system, the sun was at the centre and there was a giant disk of debris orbiting and spinning around it. And this disk was made of pieces of rock, dust, ice and metals. What happens is over time, gravity and other forces stick these little pieces of debris together and they clump together and form larger and larger objects. And this keeps on going until they form really, really large objects like planets and moons in our solar system. However, the piece of debris that don't quite make it into planets can still get rather large and they can vary all the sizes up to hundreds of kilometres. They don't quite get enough to make it into planets. Well, all these large pieces of clumped debris together that are left over form things like comets, meteoroids and asteroids. So asteroids are just leftover pieces of debris from planet formation in the early solar system. Just as planets orbit around the sun in our solar system, so do asteroids. They tend to orbit around together in groups called belts and clouds. And these are just giant volumes of space filled with the debris that's left over from the planet formation. Now, one of the most famous groups of asteroids in our solar system is called the asteroid belt. This is just a giant ring of debris and asteroids left over from planet formation between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Then there are two more beyond the orbits of Uranus and Neptune called the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud. Within these there are billions and billions of asteroids and pieces of debris left over from planet formation. But some asteroids orbit around the Sun on their own and these are the really dangerous ones to us. You see these asteroids were thought to originate in the belts and clouds within our solar system but were knocked and pulled out by gravitational forces by planets or stars. And they're really dangerous because their orbits can cross the orbit of the Earth this means at some point in the future they could potentially collide with the Earth. Now we know this has happened before, the asteroids have collided with the Earth, and this is what we think wiped out the dinosaurs. We can also see lots of craters on Earth where we think this has happened before. And nowadays scientists spend lots of time trying to map the orbits of all these potentially dangerous asteroids so we can be a bit more aware of the dangers we face. However, we still don't know any way that we can stop an asteroid from colliding with us. But asteroids aren't all that bad, they do have some really good uses. 
Because of the leftover debris from planet formation, we think that we can study them to learn more about the solar system, what it looked like billions of years ago. And more specifically, we can learn how planets formed. Some people also think that the complex molecules that helped make life were originally delivered to Earth from asteroids. So without asteroids, there wouldn't be life down here on Earth. But finally, a lot of the water that's down here on Earth, we think was probably originally delivered by asteroids. The asteroids had a lot of water ice on them. And as they hit the Earth, the ice melted and created all the oceans, lakes and rivers down here on Earth. So I hope I've convinced you that asteroids aren't all bad. They can be really useful in understanding what the early solar system was like. And in our past, they probably helped deliver life and the essential ingredients we need for life down here on Earth. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and check out the rest of my videos. Also check me out on Twitter at UKastronaut. But otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.